When are you going to communicate? <coughs> Sending to the to the mother. Because if they are staff and you have schedule of weekend work, mm. this weekend people rest. Next weekend the others work, but it means everyone just goes on holiday. You have patients on weekend. admission, and all we see are these data staff. What? The only thing I would expect on a weekend is overload of work for a few staff. That one is at least to, to create some rest for others. Supposing we get an emergency. Now a person dies here without an assistant. A child comes here convulsing now. What happens? Eh? It's really... That's not really paying attention to her. So who is now responsible for this facility? I'm really sorry, I am not the spokesperson at the moment, but I came in just to do my own work and that I left and done. So I just came in because where really, do you work? I work within here, but I'm not uh, and work we, in this facility. And I'm not the I cannot actually I what, just came in your, to assist. What's your work? It is not my role uh -huh. even to speak. As what, is your, the, what is your position? position in I am a case management officer and a bailer. So uh, an implementing partner. Implementing partner. So uh, in one way or the other, the private sector. You could do. <laughs> just stepping in. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Our own people. Are not the, know, apart from the other. The one with the, the maternity. Yeah. The midwife there. Oh, yeah, this person. Since it is. Is he coming? Since it is coming. But that is such a terrible attitude. If there's a, how can you have the minister with this? And we have said we are going to see all these facilities. Which kind of people are these that we have entrusted with the lives of our people? And you simply won't go that because so other than that they, they, they are yeah most likely speak at their homes. homes. Yes, of course. But they are not really they are not here. Yeah. They are not here. Yeah. Yeah. They are not here. They are not here. Yeah. They are not here. Yeah. They are not here. Yeah. They are not here. On duty. Who doesn't go at the home? If until somebody else takes off and You know to me, this one. Look, I've seen the picture. Look at the people go through. This is just a case of intervention. The weekend. That business yeah. doesn't, doesn't care. Doesn't care about that. That's why. Huh? Doesn't have the courage. Healthcare workers don't have weekends. They, they have duty have. time. It could be a Monday and a nurse is at home because they are not on duty. You can't abandon patients here on the wards are not. You have new mothers there. If a baby starts convulsing, what happens? You have patients here and grief. So they, they, ha they have to go there and look for them. So you just die. Complain, but you just die because <laughs> yeah. you know, they, they don't know what you've done to them. You just do your them, they don't know which medicine you give them. Mm -hmm. So for you if you come and a patient in the day has expected something, so the other one just comes and also begins with the patient. 
But you are doing it for You now would have lost my life. Because even the ones who are staying here, you don't react and say, oh, what is that? There are so many cars that, that have entered here. And nobody cares to say something is happening. Let me check. So if it was an emergency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, for us here, that is like, you know, all your pay workers, give them money, what, what? We do that because we love these people. We are the ones delivering the service to them. So if one of these started convulsing, where did they find him? Was the in charge here yesterday? Today, yesterday? Yesterday was here. Where did you people get the assumption that people false, don't fall sick on the team? Health care has no weekend. It has no Christmas. It is duty time, you're on duty. Because you are standing between life and death. But now, if that younger boy started with the do they know where to find him? Any health, any health. Because the only health care worker in this hospital now is a midwife with mothers trying to deliver mothers. Or do we go and get that one now to come and help? As healthcare workers, we hold that privilege of knowing what to do, and other people come to us. Because you, they tell me they just buy medicine. Why do they leave their homes to come here? Because they the trust the that you know what they should be doing. And even if they're buying medicine, you should be there to help them. But if it takes an hour, I get to the hospital, I have moved through this entire hospital. And there is nobody. No one even is thinking we should. If something is happening, maybe somebody has come, maybe there is a problem. It's not about duty, ma'am. It's not about being on that schedule. It's about having passion for life. Having a burden that I am a professional. People are coming here because I know what they need. You can't just move by paper. Because I'm not on duty, I will not care. Hey. Even the DHO, we are there, we are coming to see the hospital. He disappeared. Everybody else is here, for him he has disappeared. Who takes care of these people? That's when they will be coming. See here, mothers with babies convulsing, you know, they were crying in the night, hoping in the morning they will come. Every time I come to this person, I find a midwife. But these other ones, now you have not handed over. I don't know which, which case is in which condition. No, the, the one coming is not here. The one coming is not here. You can even make an error mm. in the administration of a drug. Mm. Because there is no handover, so you don't know what to do next. After what you've done, you can even do overdose. You are always losing people just because you know, of overdose. Healthcare workers many times complain, no, oh, there is no medicine. But the best thing, you, first thing you bring is knowledge. Be available. You can add advice. Mm. 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 Mm.